Hi everybody, I'm back. I'm going to do one more little um, clip here on the color wheel. And this time I'm just focusing on the one um, where we're going to be working with um, tone. So I finished up this one from yesterday, the one where I was adding white. And now we're going to go to this one here. I've got it started up a little bit and I'm going to be adding gray to each color, which is going to create a variation in tone. Um, so the gray I mixed using black and white. When you mix black with the, the um, color, it's called creating a shade. So right now, I'm just going to start with the, um, sort of it's a version of orange. And I have that mixed up already here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this gray and I took equal parts of um, white and black to make the gray. So this is going to be the first round on this color, which is like an orange. It's actually the middle weight between um, the red and the yellow. So it's an orange. And it becomes more of like a mustardy color to my eye. I'm going to go a little bit more of the black and the gray rather towards the center. And now we've got a really nice kind of warm gray. Like I was talking, and if you watched the clip from yesterday, um, I've done a lot of these color wheels or color grids and have found beautiful uh, gray tones. So now I'm gonna uh, go with the red and mix in some gray. And then we'll go in here. Yeah, gray tones are are important a lot of times for different things, um, especially in the landscape. You know, if you have distant um, distant mountains or overcast sky that you're you know you're dealing with, um, it's nice to have a range of grays to work with. So I'm just, I'm just doing a couple of colors on this so it, we don't get too long on the clip. And then I'm going to do the green. I've got the green, which we mixed up yesterday. I'm going to add a little bit of the gray. And we'll go in. And you can see it gets um, softer the, the the color it's not so intense or saturated we'll add a little bit more oops wrong color and I think it's a lot of fun to see what happens with the colors by experimenting with the mixing okay so for right now gonna pull this out so we've got three examples of um, toning so the orange got toned down here to more very much more earth tones and the red as well just more earthy grays and the green similar and they're all really beautiful hues and definitely have their place in landscape or still life or um, you know any kind of painting that you might want to be creating so this is a great reference to have. I, I have a few stacks of them and sometimes I'll pull them out and use them just as a reference before I start my work or in the middle of the work to give myself a, a guide as to um, color choice. And I think that's where I'm gonna stop today. I'll probably come back and do more on the color, color theory. There's a lot to this topic um, and it's a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite things, talking about color. All right, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.